Before we start the episode, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe for more spooky content every week, just like this episode. Hello, my fellow ghouls and ghoulettes, and welcome to Monster Planet. We're talking about a monster's brief history, how it affected our modern world today, and how media portrays the monster. I'm your host, Nicholas Reed, and today's monster might drive you batty. The monster of the day is the Mayan bat god Camazots. His name either means Death Bat or Snatch Bat, and appears in the Popol Vu and is still a very prominent figure in the continuing Maya religion. Camazots is described as an anthropomorphized leaf nosed bat. This led to conjecture about the source of the myth. Some people believe the ancient peoples based him on the common vampire bat or on Desmodus draculae, a much larger species, both leaf nosed as well. Both inhabited the area of Oaxaca, Mexico in 100 AD, when the bat deity was first mentioned in a cult of the Zapotec tribe. They believe that bats represented night, death, and sacrifice. This is likely because bats inhabited the caves around the sacred canotes, which Mesoamericans believed were a portal to the underworld. The god is also commonly depicted holding a sacrificial dagger in one hand, either a human heart or a human sacrifice in the other. He was eventually adopted into the mythology of the Quiche Maya in Guatemala. Though they merged Camazots with their fire god, Zotzahila Camelkin, though in the Popol Vu, Zotzahila was the name of the House of Bats in the underworld where the hero twins were forced to stay by the lords of Zabalba. In the Popol Vu, a messenger in the form of a humanoid bat, which is believed to be Camazots, brokered a deal between humanity and Lord Tohil, the patron god of the Quiche. In this deal, mankind promised their armpits and waists in exchange for fire, which is how the ritual of cutting open a person's breast and sacrifice came to be. Finally, some myths claim that during the day, Camazots could turn into a stone statue and therefore could only move at night, but this has not been confirmed. Camazots hasn't had a huge effect on media, but as bats are still seen as a symbol of death and the night, as well as still being a powerful figure in the Maya religion, I would say his effect on the media is still very noticeable. Camazots appears in some forms of media, such as the Buffy the Vampire Slayer novel miniseries The Lost Slayer, where he was the creator of the entire vampire species, and was married to the goddess Zotzahila. Camazots was also featured as a playable character in the third-person multiplayer online battle arena game Smite by Hyrule Studios, where he is one of the many gods, goddesses, and mythological creatures you can play as. He retains his vampiric nature, with his abilities featuring a life-stealing aspect, and one attack utilizing sound waves that damage his foes and allow him to see enemy gods for several seconds. In all these forms of media, Camazots retains his bat-like form and his abilities. That's all the time I had for you ghouls and ghoulettes. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, if you see a bat, it might just be a servant of Camazots.